Hi, the young fox child. Fox, I haven't seen you in ages. It's good to see you. Welcome. Welcome back. Glad that you are here. We are playing a game called Jenny LeClue Detective Vu. And uh, it is very cute and very good. You've been sick. Oh, I hope it wasn't the plague. I'm, I'm hoping that you're feeling a bit better now. Feeling sick is never, never fun. I'm trying to think of all the things that I have put into effect since the last time I saw you. Oh, excuse me. Pepsi gives me the burps. Um, so right now we're running two games back to back. Um, with an optional third if I need to give my brain a rest, which is not really a rest for my brain, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, so Jenny Look Clue Detective Vu is the first one. Um, that's the one that we are doing at the, um, oh my. Paul, thank you for the resub. You've been subbed for 12 months. Look at you. Oh my lord. Hi, Tiz! Uh, but what was I saying? Um, so, Jenny LeClue Detective Vu is uh, really cute. It's kind of like a play on like a elementary school nanny uh, or like Nancy Drew. So, it it's just really cute. She's a redhead. She's sassy, um, and I'm looking forward to playing it today. Uh, the other game that we're playing is a game called The Sexy Brutale. It's a point-and-click click adventure game like Jenny LeClue, but um, it has a distinct time loop to it. And um, it's got great music, it's got great puzzles, and you have to do everything without being seen. It's, it's just really great all around, and um, I played it for the first time last stream, so if you missed that, recommend going back and seeing it um, if you don't get to see it before it gets off my t twitch then it'll be on my YouTube channel once I get through the, um, the backlog which I am almost done with my backlog I think I only have maybe four or five videos left to sift through but yeah look at you Paul you're uh, sporting that Bits uh, badge that I've got the new bit, the blah, 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 blah. new bits badge. So I have enacted bits badges, which I didn't realize was a thing that I could have. Um, so the bits badges are really cute looking um, snakes, Col different colored snakes. So. Um, yeah, I hope you like them. I hope you enjoy them. There are new uh, emotes available to uh, people who have donated bits, to um, people who have subbed. There is a whole bunch of cool stuff. Um, but yeah, they're really awesome and adorable. Um, let me see if I can throw some of them out here. Uh... So, those are three of them. Ah! Prime Strike! Hi! Thank you for the su resub! Oh jeez, I'm gonna have more work to do on my hat, aren't I? That's the other thing. Young, uh, young Fox Child. Or, sorry, Fox. Um, so, there is something new that I have enacted. It's called the Twitch Hat. And, basically, for every single different event that happens on the channel uh, that is something that will get a um, a row of color knitted onto the hat because I have a knitting machine and uh, so I have assigned a color to each different event and once I get to, I don't know, 200 events, 150 events, because that's 150 to 200 rows, 
the hat will be done and we'll be able to see what it looks like so uh it's gonna be really awesome and really cool and um or at least i hope it's going to be really cool but we will see how it looks at the very end it doesn't look like much right now because we're only eight rows in but um i've got a picture on of it on my twitch currently which if you don't already sh uh sub there um that is the link to my Twitter, and I did make a post about it today. So, if you want to go check that out, there's the link. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think of what else. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Paul, thanks for the host. You hosted me, right? I think you hosted me. Prime Strike, thank you for the host. You guys are awesome people. <laughs> I'm not sure why Twitch is not showing it as a... Are host alerts broken again? I really hope they're not broken again. Um, I did extend the... Um, that's another thing. Uh, so I have a cosplay challenge. There is a community challenge. Uh, people are raising points to um, have me dress up as Spider Gwen. And uh, I'm looking forward to it because Spider Gwen is one of my favorite characters. Peter Parker has always been my favorite Spider Man, but uh, Spider Gwen is near and dear to my heart because she's just got style. <laughs> she's look She looks really amazing. Um, Though if I had to pick a favorite spider person, I would go with Spider Girl, so Mayday Parker, because uh, that was the one of the first um, comic books, comic strips that I really got into when I was a young girl. Uh, I think I got in, into it because I found the very first volume of Spider Girl in um, like one of the Scholastic fairs. Uh, scholastic book fairs at um, I think it was 8th grade that I found it first but I ended up buying the first three volumes of that entire comic run and I just loved it because I'd al already been into uh, what are scholastic book fairs not a thing anymore <laughs> but um the I, I'd already been into Peter Parker because he was a photographer and I was super into photography, still am. I just don't use my like super awesome camera nearly as much as I should. I just use my phone. But yeah. Alright. Um, the alarm has gone off. So it is time for us to get into a video game. Is this track almost done? Yes, it is. So I'll get us over to the focus game. Wait for this track to end and get the game pulled up. Wait, did Britain have Scholastic Book Fairs too? That's awesome. I didn't know that. Didn't know it was international. Thought it was an American thing only. I don't know why I thought of that, but uh, I just did. It's weird. All right, pulling up Jenny LeClue, Detective Who. Waiting for it to show up on screen. There we go. Uh, and we were using... I think we were using Xbox controller last time. Continue. There we go. Right. We were here... Inspect the front desk. Uh, I think we already read this, but I'm not sure, so I'm going to read it again. Memo. This man is not allowed in the library due to past incidences. Uh, he may be wearing a hat or fake mustache. Be vigilant. <laughs> uh, someone keeps leaving book carts in the 
quiet study area. Please remember to return carts to the front desk area and stop standing on them. We've got ladders for a reason. Dean Strausberry. Oh. Oh, hello. Come on. Did I find a sticker? Les Strausberry, Gumbold's 21st and jolliest dean, smiled down at Jenny. Looking a bit wonky today, Mr. Strausberry. A pair of wires ran down the wall and disappeared behind the painting. It's too high to reach. What are you hiding back there? It's intriguing. The chandeliers that adorn this library are made from rare Arthurtonian quartz. Kindly donated by the Glatz Foundation. The Glatz family was one of the oldest in town. Okay. They were the first to mine the valuable quartz deposits beneath Arthurton. And as such, they became incomparably wealthy. Of course. And they sure like to let everyone know it. <laughs> Someone salty. Is there anything else? Oh, hello. Sticker. Laddertron 5000. The pinnacle of remote ladder and bookcase technology. Kindly donated by the Glatz Foundation. Alright, there's got to be some kind of shelf or something that I can push over. Maybe not. She's panting, that's a cute thing. Uh, it wouldn't let me... Oh. Whoa! Dangerous! The newly installed ladder system was prone to malfunction. Should have kept the old wooden ladders. They never tried to electrocute me. Yikes. I need to find a way to turn the power off. The Lottertron had another option for. Oh, did it? Yep. Use control panel. Jenny gazed at the technological there model of Lottertron 5000. Seems pointless. It's not hard to move a ladder. Sometimes it feels like some unknown force is just trying to slow me down. Hmm, like an author. No good. I don't think I'll be able to move the ladders while the electricity is on. There we go. 
Hey, look, a book Jenny cart. was notorious for climbing book carts. Uh. It's the only way to reach the highest shelves. In fact, this could be useful. But something else had caught her eye. This table's a complete mess. That's a lot of books. Who would leave it like this? Conspiracy theories, messy diagrams, ge genealogy books, document Alleged town scribbles, intricate diagrams, old doc giant machines, town documents, a worn copy of Aliens in Arthurton. Jenny knew only one person could mm. have been sitting here. Conspiracy theories. CJ. It's odd though. He usually hides everything when he's finished. What's this? A tattered piece Shadow of paper man. with a series Landon of seemingly Lines. unrelated notes. Landing site? <laughs> UFO swarm. Shadow man. Taken power beams light. UFOs. Shadow men. Experiments on corpses. It seemed that CJ was on. There's a sticker there. Let me own. click it. Wait, there's something on the other side. Wow, a color map of Arthurton. Jenny had never seen a town map with this level of detail before. I can't believe CJ left this behind. That's so unlike him. He'd be terrified if anyone else found it. I'll keep it safe until I see him again. Uh. Wanted to turn it back over. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, it's being mean. No secrets between friends, Mr. Strasbury. Jenny stood on her tiptoes and delicately removed the priceless painting from the wall. Yeah, that's not delicate. Oops. Aha! Precisely what I was hoping to find. It was? Let's see. Lights, bookcases, ladders. I'll cut the power and continue my investigation. But Jenny knew better than to play with electricity, so she left it alone. Mm, no, turn off breaker. It's a simple switch. Perfectly safe. The eerie silence unnerved our tiny hero. But even worse was the dark. Jenny had always been terrified of the dark. Just breathe. A great detective never succumbs to fear. Yikes. <sighs> Looks like that did the trick. Nice. Yosh. Guess we can't go back there anymore. Jenny stopped in her tracks. Why? The sign clearly read, wet floor, caution. Her path was blocked. You're kidding me, right? Really? Trampling muddy feet over a perfectly clean floor? <laughs> she was a maverick, not a monster. This author, I swear. Hi, Callie.
let me go up further. Moo! <laughs> wow, that really is slippery. It wouldn't be a good idea to leave my footprints everywhere. Okay. Oh, there. Okay. Because there's a hatch there. Gotcha. Gallery item. Yosh. Rare books. Our most precious collections reside in this temperature-controlled room. Kindly donated by the Glatz Foundation. Yeah, yeah, we know. <laughs> That's a lot of books. Fallen remains of a bookcase blocked Jenny's path. It looks like a bomb went off in here. It's too precarious to climb over. Yeah, I think you're right. So let's see, is there another there might be another ladder down under. Cause there's a hatch here. So, yeah. No, nope. there's a there's literally a wall in the way. Hmm. Can I go through it's the lock? Oh, I can't go. No problem. I'll just pick it. Jane was skilled with a lockpick, having watched her mother demonstrate the process countless times. But that was just for fun at home. This was the real world. You couldn't just go around picking other people's locks. That was a crime. A great detective knows when to bend the rules. And the paperclip she has in her pocket. <laughs> Mom always says, lockpicking is a subtle art. Move slowly and search for the sweet spot. Okay. Not sure exactly what I'm looking for. Oh, my Skyrim lock picking is coming into use here. Bingo. Bingo. 
It must have been a rush of blood that caused Jenny to act so irrationally. Regardless, she had picked the lock and felt strangely exhilarated. What treasures lay behind the door? Oh, it's empty. Hm. Still, let book car could be useful. Heck yeah, I can. Like climbing over stuff. Something's blocking the ladder. Something's stuck in the track. Ipsa. Wait. Scientia. We know this Testa, ring. Est. It's the Dean's ring. No wonder the ladders were malfunctioning. The ring must have caused a short circuit. Why is his ring there? I'll keep hold of this and return it to the Dean when I see him next. Whoa! An empty library, a fallen bookcase, and now a broken balcony? This mystery has all the hallmarks of foul play. Strong impact? They say words can't hurt you. In this case, I'd be inclined to disagree. I agree, but that disagree meant a disagreeal. Solid iron and oak, torn apart like a piece of bread. It would have taken some serious force to do this. Something bad happened here. Do you think? This is feeling more and more like a crime scene. And then Jenny saw it. Uh oh. What'd she see? Covered in a ripped curtain and surrounded by broken glass. Uh oh. It is a crime scene! Don't be so happy about it. I mean, I would, but that's too much work. You never forget the first time you see a dead body. It harrows the mind, terrifies the soul, scars you to your very core. A dead body? No way. This is amazing! Girl! Who lay under what the heck? <laughs> Who had breathed their last breath? Who had shuffled off this mortal coil to meet their maker? It could be anyone. I mean, it could be an escaped lunatic from the asylum. Or an axe-wielding maniac on the run from the cops. It or could be... CJ. It could be. Mom? Oh no. Please, no. No, see, you, didn't... you never forget the first time you see a didn't dead Didn't think body. about this stuff. All right, time to pull back the curtain. Jenny knew it was wrong to disturb the crime scene. But I, have I see to a know stamp under here. Slowly, she drew back the heavy cloth. Please don't be my mom. Please don't be my mom. The heck, Strawberry? Thank God. <laughs> uh, I I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. Poor Mr. Strawberry. What happened to you? Was this a terrible Thank accident? You. Or worse? Murder! Her stomach churned. Seeing the Dean's lifeless face, his contorted frame, Jenny felt the urge to run. To get as far away from this I mean, horrific sight as possible. Meanwhile, I, I see at least four Jenny different had stamps that I'm going to immediately go into a real uh, case grab. to solve. I. 
didn't expect it to be like this. She gathered herself, took a deep breath, and began to search for clues. We got a mystery to solve, girl. Stamp. And stamp. 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 Yeah, basically, you gotta do the... Oh yeah, our bestie is going to be really, really torn up about this. Alright, I think that's all the stamps that I saw off the bat. The Dean's planner lay open on today's date. Perhaps I can retrace his steps and create a timeline of events. Excuse me. Meet JL. Could that be Mom? Where's Widow's Drop? Tell the truth. I've never heard of it. Tell the truth? What do you mean, tell the truth? Looks like he completed all his chores for the day. I already knew the Dean was meeting Mom here. So where is she now? He wanted to postpone it. Or at least he thought about it. Looks like he cancelled his meetings on Friday and rearranged lunch with Keith. Oh, poor Keith. Jenny didn't know how she would break the news to him. But I should be the one to tell him. Gossip spreads like wildfire in Arthurton. He sure was working hard on that speech. I'm sad he won't get to deliver it. Retirement? Hooray? A book about chance. What are the odds that this was an accident? Mm, who knows? Dean's hand was clapped shut around a small object. That's strange. Rigor mortis usually takes hours to set in. I'm sorry for what I'm about to do, Mr. Strasbury, but this could be a vital clue. Mom's uh -oh. ID card? But that means... Julie LeClue had definitely been here. She could be the last person to have seen him alive. Or the she one could who killed be him. The killer. Impossible. My mother's a forensic expert. She'd never leave such incriminating evidence behind. But even the smartest criminals made mistakes. Jenny couldn't deny this looked bad for her mom. If anyone else sees this, they'll jump to conclusions. They'll think my mom's a murderer. Unless... A peculiar thought crossed Jenny's mind. Unless... There's nothing to find. Removing evidence from a crime scene was highly unethical. So was planting evidence to frame an innocent person. She had no proof of that. I have to do something. Why? Donut damage. Thank you for the raid. 23 viewers. I don't think I've ever had this many viewers. Thank you so much for coming in. Hi, welcome in everyone. Uh, my name is Allie. Um, I am a variety streamer. And I play a lot of point-and-click adventure games. And um, I'm so happy to see you here. Thank you for being so lovely in my chat. Well, it is easy to be lovely to someone who is so lovely themselves. Uh, oh, ma ah, <laughs> everyone is following me. Um, Fido Big Man 
thank you for the follow. Cat Vest, thank you for the follow. Corn Moon, thank you for the follow. Queen Santra, uh, Can Cantra? Santra? Cantra, thank you for the follow. Thank you, everybody. Um, so, a little bit of background on the game that I'm playing. It is a um, point and click adventure game, like I said before. Uh, we are playing Jenny LeClue, Detective Vu. This is Jenny on the screen. She is a, I'd say almost, I don't know, would you say she's an elementary school detective or a uh, middle school detective? She's sassy. She's absolutely sassy. Yeah, ambiguously teenager. She, she's got that, like, she's not a kid, but she's also not a teen. Like, she's not old and... She, she's in that rebellious phase. But, um... Yeah, probably like a freshman, I guess. Like, she, she's she got that uh, sass to her. Like, I, I know everything. And then you learn that you don't know everything. Um, then, then the world's just like, uh, no one knows anything. Anyways, um... Uh, <laughs> So, uh, we have just stumbled upon what appears to be a uh, crime scene. Uh, we have found a, what appears to be a body. And uh, we are checking it out and seeing what what is going on. What happened here? What clues can we find? But uh, that is what we are doing. And I hope you enjoy the game. Uh, so we have the not option of taking the evidence or leaving the evidence. Presumed dead. We haven't checked his pulse, so he might still be alive. Um, Tiz thinks that we need to leave it. Um, personally, I would take it because I'm a sneaky little... But, because uh, if we leave the evidence, this is going to incriminate our mom. Because Julie H. LeClue is our mother. And uh, if we leave it, then it's going to incriminate her and she's going to be the police's number one suspect. If we take it, that makes us an accomplice. So, and if it's found out that we messed or tampered with the crime scene, we could be taken in. Worse for us to take it than to leave it? Actually, Tiz, what do you say to a poll? Put on a poll for like a minute or two minutes and uh, let the chat figure it out. Because that way, my, my hands are clean. <laughs> Leave it up to you guys. I, I do love the fact that uh, literally the first thing that Jenny LeClue said was my mom wouldn't uh, leave such incriminating evidence. Not, I wouldn't she wouldn't kill the dean. Uh, if she's guilty, she's a criminal expert, she, she wouldn't make a rookie mistake like that. Exactly! She, she works on crime scenes for a living. So she would not leave her ID badge. But someone might have planted it? We don't know. So, who knows? But anyways, it'll be... Uh, <laughs> Chad is naughty. I mean, I'm naughty, so... Is this the prequel to Dexter? Ah! No! <laughs> Not really. But, uh, it is a cute game. I mean, <laughs> come wait in the sin with me, friends. What was the results? Take it? Alright, four to two, we are taking the ID. Take the evidence. My mom would kill me if she knew I was tampering with evidence. She doesn't have to but find I have out. To protect her. Alright, so we took the ID. Uh, let's see, what... Else. There are bits of glass and metal debris everywhere. He has burn marks on his hand. Burn marks? Okay. Well, the ladder that we found was sparking, so he could have been electrocuted. The hawk and the weasel and other bedtime stories. It could be important. 
Could be. And again, it could have just joined the Dean for the ride. Okay. We already saw that. We saw that. Uh, what's this? It's a book about predicting the future. I suppose it didn't belong to Mr. Strasbury then. Okay. There's his pocket it's watch. Smashed, most likely from the fall. The hand stopped at 3.57 p.m. So that time gives me of potential death? time of death. If Jenny had arrived just a few minutes earlier... I might have been able to save him. You can't think like that, girl. You can't think like that. Okay, one more clue. What game got me into point and clicks? Um, hard to say, really. Maybe Nancy Drew. Um, Harry Potter, Nancy Drew. Um, I started my career on Twitch on um, the Dreamfall saga. So, Longest Journey, Dreamfall, chap, uh, Dreamfall, The Longest Journey, and Dreamfall uh, uh, chapters, which are all good games. But I think we found our last clue. He looks like he's been dead for weeks. His skin is pale and colorless, and there's a strange mark on his neck. Yeah, that doesn't look natural. I think that's all the evidence I'm going to find here. She took one and last look. I didn't see any other stickers. Body. I'm sorry, Mr. Strasbury. I promise I'll get to the bottom of this. A dream fall. Jenny knew she should leave and call the police. But how often did a case like this come along? Never. There's more to this than meets the eye. The case of the dead Dean. Yeah, dream Some fall of is good. Evidence must series. be connected. So she opened her journal to join the dots. Okay, it's journal in time. What was, what the, apparent was the apparent cause, cause of, death? of death? Whoops. Uh, let's see. Burn marks, broken balcony, children's book, ID card, ring. Uh, so I'm going to go with ring, burn marks, broken balcony. Because we think that the it ring looks like caused the Dean was short. thrown from the balcony when he reached down to pick up his ring, which was stuck in the electrified ladder track. He grabbed the curtain, but it didn't slow him down. He landed on a bed of metal and glass debris. Solved. What is unusual? What is unusual about the Dean's death? Uh, well, neck and face, ID card. Uh, torn curtain isn't that unusual because you're going to be flailing. Um, pocket watch isn't very abnormal. Children's book that isn't relevant. Dean has a strange mark on his neck. All the skin around his face is gray and gaunt. I've never seen anything like it before. He's holding my mom's ID card, which makes her the prime suspect. He'd probably fell backwards. Anyone want to kill Dean Strasbury? I bet he fell backwards. Gra uh, reach forward, grabbed her play, ID card, and motive? tore it off her neck as Had he she fell. Missed something? The watch. The Dean's watch stopped at 3:57 p.m. When I came into the library, the clock tower rang four times. The library only has one exit. And I haven't seen anyone but the Dean since I got here. Okay. Which meant if the Dean was murdered... The killer must still be here! He's getting away! Yikes. Sticker. What would a uh, alley detective name be? Oh. Ooh, I don't know. Alley Drew or something? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think, Tis? 
Jenny could hear police sirens in the distance. Uh -oh. Someone must have tipped them off. I'll catch the murderer and keep him busy until the cops arrive. Allie O'Malley! Chasing off the murderers was hardly the job of a little girl. Hey, you! Stop! Oof, that Despite was Despite surviving her fall without so much as a broken bone, Jenny couldn't help but feel she had failed. As the sirens grew louder, she knew it would only be a matter of time before the sheriff arrived. Girl, you gotta shift. And then she'd have to explain why she hadn't called for help. But the worst feeling of all was that she had let the killer escape. As she drifted slowly into unconsciousness, Jenny heard a familiar voice. Concerned, gentle, soothing. Jenny? Oh, Jenny, what have you done? Mom? Freeze! You're under arrest! What? Achievement unlocked. It begins. What begins? What have I done? Uh, why are you messing around with Jam? I killed him! Mustache wiggle. This is all wrong. Murder uh. in Arthurton. <laughs> this is not an appropriate story for Jenny LeClue. Poor Dean Strousbury. What was I thinking? That's a lot I've of jam back there. <laughs> Perhaps I should take a break. Come on, Rufus. Let's go for a walk. Yeah, you Clear need to clean our yourself and up. Off some of this jam. Jeez. <laughs> oh, All right, let's see what what can we find. Oh no! What did I do? Oops. I wanted to mess around with stuff. Hello? This is weird. Murder! I was looking for gallery pieces! Shut up, leave me alone! The Arthurton Times. Dean Strasbury found dead. Prime suspect Jenny Le Julie LeClue arrested. There's, it's like printed over. Why were you there? What's with the voice? Oh jeez. Truth or lie? Uh... Why was I there? I don't remember. I told you I was looking for Mom. Why? We were going to Great Papers. When do I get to see her? Did you disturb the crime scene? Uh, no. Of course not. Now let me speak to my mom. Oh, jeez. That is terrifying. Jesus. I'm out of here. The hecky? This is nightmare fuel. Mom! <laughs> Touch! Dang it! The heck?
This is... It's interesting. Oh no. Keith! Please, look at me! That's the son of the Dean. Keith, wait! Poor boy. Now he has no one. It was no accident. I can't believe she's here. It was revenge. Murderer! An affair gone wrong. She wanted his job. She's guilty. Were they lovers? You can see it in their eyes. She's guilty. Guilty! Pure evil. Murderer. What? That, okay, three coffins? The heck? No, what is my cat screaming about? Uh. Who who is that? I can't really tell. The heck? Wait. That's a man. So okay, these are like They're pictures, like scraps of a picture. This kind of looks. Okay, I can grab. Ugh. Slightly terrifying. That's her mom. Yeah, very unsettling. So, her parents and her. I didn't know this was going to be a horror game. Ah! Run, 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 run. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. That is no, 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 Dean Strousbury was dead. My mom was in jail. Keith told me he never wanted to see me again. And worst of all, I was surrounded by an evil army of giant teddy bears. That is terrifying. That's true. <laughs> Unfortunately, it was all true, including the teddy bears. Oh, My geez. eyes. There's something wrong with them. Everything's pink. But her eyes terrifying. were fine. It was the room Agreed. that was pink. Pink cuddly toys. Pink furniture. Pink clothes. Ugh. And a hand-drawn homage to teenage heartthrob Pelvis Cressley. He gads. Covered in Say it hearts. is no... Say it's not so. Everything a teenage girl could dream of. It looks like a marshmallow exploded. <laughs> it was at this point Jenny remembered where she was. I shouldn't be here. What happened? And what is that terrible music? I can't think straight with that racket playing. <laughs> These aren't my clothes. All right, clothes. sleep well, Donut. And where's my journal? That wasn't the only thing missing. The Dean's ring. It was in my pocket. All right. Turn that up. Turn it off. You're the fan that I love. Ugh. You're the fan that I love. Ah, yes. The eagerly awaited follow-up to the smash hit. Even though I'm a big star and you're just a fan. Tell us Cressley and the together. hip thrusters. Ugh. Who buys this crap? Sell more records. <laughs> Huh? 
hushed whispers in the hallway? I should investigate. Anything to investigate over here first? Any stickers? But yeah. Didi, have a wonderful sleep. Thank you for bringing everyone in. Thanks for coming in. It was great. And, uh, tis Mr. Shagrim needs a 10 second timeout, please. Because he, he has not been timed out yet. Thank you, Paul. Uh, doesn't look like any stickers. Paul is quick on the draw. It's locked from the outside. Who would trap a child in his nightmarish hellscape? <laughs> Jenny peeped through the tiny keyhole. As her eyes adjusted to the light, she recognized the substantial frame of Winston the Clue, Arthurton's long standing sheriff, and Jenny's. Granddad! Granddad? Jenny's relationship with her grandfather was contentious, to say the least. He was a stern and humorless man who placed honor, tradition, and the law above all else. Also, hi Shay. I'm Ali. I am a point and click adventure gamer, and uh, we're going to continue playing the game now. Hi. Sometimes even family. But what was he doing here? And who is he talking to? Florence Glatz. Florence and Richard Glatz were the wealthiest couple in town, and hugely influential. Their company, Glatz Mining and Supply Corps, was the oldest in Arthurton. While Richard may have been the head of the business, everyone knew that Florence wore the pants. Exceptionally charming and generous, she always had a smile on her face. Which is why I don't trust her one bit. Being careful not to make a sound, Jenny leaned in and listened. With everything going on, I don't have time to watch her. It's no trouble at all, really, Winston. She can stay for as long as she likes. The girls are great friends. I only hope she feels better soon. That was quite the scene she made at the funeral. She should have left the boy alone. Really, Winston. This whole situation must be unbearably traumatic for the poor girl. Her mother in jail, and what she saw in the library. One shudders at the thought. And all this barely a year after what happened to Henry. Henry? Well, She'll be fine. Who, who's Henry? Just keep an eye on her. She can be a real handful. Oh, don't worry. I've planned everything. That's a sticker. I want it. rides, afternoon tea, and tomorrow we're going dress shopping. Wow. Oh, that reminds me. I have something for you. Dress shopping? First they lock me up, now they want to torture me? <laughs> I need to get out of here. Fast. But her curiosity was piqued. She had to know Might what Mrs. Glatz had gone to fetch, and so she waited. Sticker! Mine! Uh, any other stickers? Sticker, 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 sticker. The duty of Sheriff had been Winston's birthright, passed from father to son for generations. Of course, that tradition would now end with him, but he preferred not to think about that. Nathaniel Glatz stared disapprovingly back at Jenny. Creepy old man. Actually, this was the man who saved Arthurton. When the quartz mines began to run dry, it was his research into the unique properties of the crystals that secured the future prosperity of the town and the company. Okay, and once we find the last clue, we will... Uh Take when Thalabia's tea pump discovered the first quartz seam lining the Great Mountains, little did he know the impact it would have on the future of the town. Little did he know the Glatz family would muscle in and take over the whole operation. Nowadays it was hard to go anywhere in town without seeing something made from it. Huh? Where did he go? Ah! <laughs> Winston, what are you doing down there? Hmm, thought I heard something. Really? A man of your age spying on teenage girls? You? I've told you already, she won't be going anywhere. 
It was probably just Jenny's imagination, but those words felt oddly... Sinister. Yeah, pretty sinister. Here. Why does Mrs. Glatz have official police documents? That's unusual. Satisfied. That's suspicious. How is Julie? She's in the safest place, behind bars. Surely they don't believe she's guilty. I don't envy you, Winston. It must be hard to stay impartial. Hmm. If the poor dear would just confess, it would make things much easier. I have everything under control. Of course you do, dear. No Mrs. Glass, you're, you're sounding really suspicious. We must continue to look out for each other. Now more than ever. Sheriff, are you receiving? Go ahead. It's the LeClue house, sir. We found something. I'll be right there. Over. It sounds like you've got important things to take care of. Innocent until yes. proven guilty. Well, good night, Florence. Good night, Winston. Don't let her out of your sight. She is a LeClue, after all. I'm sure we'll manage. All right. With that, we are going to take a break. Thankfully, her mother's fate was in safe hands. The fine people of the Arthurton Police Department. Oh, God. <laughs> She's going to rot in jail. Jenny could leave the case to them and enjoy a fun week of pony rides and shopping sprees. No. <laughs> no? Mom always says a great detective leaves nothing to chance. I have to do something. But she was just a kid. What could she possibly do? This is my chance. Everything. A case of a lifetime. My mom needs me, and I won't let her down. I'm gonna find my stuff and get out of here. And just like that, a great adventure began. All right. Uh, what the hell? I love you. I love you. Ah! You're my best friend. You scared the life out of me, pig. Kill it with fire. No. The sun was setting behind the great mountains of Arthurton, cradling the town in a warm red embrace. I slept the whole day away? I have to get out of here and make up for lost time. Yep. All the dangly bits are swaying. Strange. It's not windy in here. <laughs> dangly bits. A heart-shaped mirror for the lady who loves herself. Stay up! Another stand? Ouch! That's hot! Eh, this feels like a puzzle. I'm gonna examine Seriously, more things. Seriously, who has windows this big? <laughs> Below, Lake Nowhere stretched out as far as the eye could see. I'll come back In the to distance, that. Jenny could just make out the great lighthouse on Skull Island. It's foggy out there tonight. Alright, Havoc at Heroes Memorial. Hold on. Uh, what should have been a touching farewell to a beloved member of the community was tarnished by a poorly timed act of protest yesterday at Mother of Mercy Church. An emotionally unstable child was witnessed shouting at the com members of the congregation, causing damage to property and even desecrating the corpse. After a long chase, the girl collapsed and was carried from the premises. Hundreds gathered to pay their respects to the late Leslie Strausberry, the long-standing and beloved dean of Gumboldt uh, University, who was murdered in cold blood by a member of his own faculty. 
The community was de devastated last Thursday when Mr. Strasberry was found dead at the school library after apparently being pushed from third story balcony. The murder was the first the town had seen in decades. Dean Strasberry is survived by his son, Keith Strasberry. After an anonymous tip, Sheriff Winston LeClue arrived first on the scene, found a woman covered in the Dean's blood. She wasn't covered in the Dean's blood. She didn't have a spot on her. Evidence linked her to the murder. Although a motive for the killing has not been established, the woman has been identified as Jenny LeClue, professor of criminology and daughter-in-law to Sheriff Winston LeClue. She remains in custody at this time while police continue their investigation. Monday morning edition. Wait a second. So we've been out of commission since Thursday so we haven't slept the entire day we've slept Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday but five days we've been out of commission for five days and apparently we went to the funeral too and caused a commotion Ali, you are an amazing streamer, and I appreciate you. Thank you, Hobbits. Hi, welcome in. Good to see you. All that stuff we had a nightmare about, that happened. Yeah. Uh, stamp? Nope. Let me get the stamp. Ha ha. The only way up is out. The only way forward is down. It's interesting. Um. Pushed from the balcony? That's not what happened. And yeah. no mention of electrocution. <laughs> I don't remember any of this. I bet that kid's in a lot of trouble. Yeah, that was you. Jenny thought of her poor mother, locked away in a jail cell for a crime she didn't commit. Don't worry, Mom. I'll prove you didn't do it, as soon as I get out of here. Who is the anonymous tip? In blood? That's a lie! Either this is shoddy reporting, or someone is trying to cover up what really happened. My mom's still in jail, so the police must not think this was an accident. And if it wasn't an accident, then... The real killer is still out there! Okie dokie. On the other side of the lake, beyond the forgotten forest, sat a more modest house. No fancy windows or crystal chandeliers, just a small wooden frame in need of painting. Home. I've never seen so many clothes. That's a lot of clothes. Maybe mine are in here somewhere. Too pink, too flashy, too delicate, too flowery, too expensive. Well, my clothes definitely aren't here. They'd be easy to spot amongst all the sequins and ribbons. Sticker! New sticker. Okay. Seems to be the only sticker. Okay, yeah. Definitely only sticker. I'm gonna fix the rest of that uh, mirror. Didn't do anything, but okay. There's a track in the ceiling panel around the chandelier. It looks like it can move. Okay. Best in show, horse ballet. First prize, advanced table etiquette. There's one here for best smile. Seriously? Yikes. So... I'm not touching it. I'll burn myself. They're too hot to touch while the lights are on. Oh, I gotta turn them off. 
Maybe I turn them all off? Not sure, but... Yeah, horse belay is a thing. Um, I think. Hmm. There's something strange about this mirror. This requires further investigation. Yeah, I'm not sure. Wait. Hello. They're too hot to touch while the lights are on. Yeah, got that. That one's on, though, now. Um, so what? Take time. I don't have my detective gear to pick the lock. Besides, I can't just walk out in front of Mrs. Glatz. Okay. I am very lay confused. I do them in order. Can't be that hard of a puzzle. These puzzles haven't been super hard lately. Nothing happened. I thought I was onto something. That's more fun than it should be. Yeah, but where? We've checked pretty much everything. Um, not that. Not that either. We don't have our journal. Look at record. Oh, okay. Uh, so one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, okay. Is it this one? that There we go This family's disposable income is outrageous. 
I always <laughs> knew they were hiding something. I bet there are all kinds of horrific secrets lurking up there. Alright, well let's go up and check. Well, this is interesting. Oh, it's just a dusty old attic. So creepy. Dozens of old boxes covered in dust and cobwebs. Filled with toys, school projects, and old trophies. Attics, where dreams go to die. Gallery item! Aha! A way out of here! Locked. But where is the lock? Interesting. Okay, so nothing to find over there. There was something to find in the elevator shaft? Sticker! Good eye. Is there anything else? Nope. Ah! <laughs> oh, hello, spooky bear. Yeah. Feels like he's watching me. Kind of creepy. Probably is. Up, up, ah. Ah. There you are. Everything in here is covered in dust. Except this bear. And there's light coming from behind him. Ooh. What are you hiding, spooky bear? by a giant teddy bear. Not the way I'd want to go. What an end that would have been. Just as I suspected. Ooh, staircase. I staircase. Mm. Hello? Yes, please. Collectibles? Uh, what? A lab? Jenny was no stranger to the labs at Gumbold, but she'd never seen anything quite like this. Certainly not inside someone's house. Uh, hello, who hey, are you? What are you doing up here? <laughs> what? What kind of security system is this? Susie? <laughs> Loved by all kinds to a fault. Jenny's cousin was also the most popular girl Jenny's in town. Jenny's cousin? Oh, uh, hi Jenny. Er, uh, um, you... You should be in bed resting. <laughs> what are you doing up here? I should ask you the same question. A uh, mysterious figure? Laboratory? What is all this equipment? And why is there a secret elevator running from your room to the attic? Oh, you must be my collection of teddy bears. 
Diplomatic or cut to the chase? Uh, cut to the chase. We ain't taking no Don't nonsense. Don't play dumb with me, Susan Glass. These bears are hiding nothing. And that one's wearing a welding helmet. <laughs> well, um, there's a simple explanation for that. There are just too many to fit in my bedroom. Good cop, bad cop. Uh, good cop? Susie, clearly something's weighing heavily on your mind. Take a deep breath and answer the question honestly. I promise you'll feel better. It's not what you think. This is where I, um, er... Teddy bears. I have vintage bears, new bears, rare collectible bears. Enough. Stop avoiding the question. Who's that Pokemon? Um... Who was that? Prime Strike? Oh wait, we've got multiple things. Prime Strike... Uh, which elephant do you want to game? And, um, let's see, I gotta pin you. Prime Strike, Prime Strike. Wee. Bunk. Yeah, come on, Tiz, you're supposed to be telling me that this stuff is coming up. Um... Meow! Who's meowing at me? Hello? Kitty? Biggie? Oh, jeez. Okay. Ugh. your head up. Alright. Setting a timer for five minutes. Very much a better strategy. Okay. Um, gain her trust or pressure her. I think we're better served gaining her trust. You don't need to hide anything. You can be honest with me. I can't. You wouldn't understand. Try me. Susie's secret was the kind you took to the grave. A shameful, dark secret. A secret so shocking she feared she would lose everything. Her friends would abandon her. Her family would disown yeah. her. She'd never find true love. Oh, God. I'm going to die alone. <laughs> uh, you can't tell anyone. You have to promise me. Uh, promise. Fine, just stop whimpering like a lost puppy. You're Aww. embarrassing yourself. <sighs> Here goes nothing. This is my secret laboratory. Yeah, seriously, the bears were hiding nothing. Uh, buy it or don't buy it? Mm, buy it? Your laboratory, where you invent things. Yes. You, a cheerleading, horse riding, dress wearing debutante. Yes. I want to believe you, Susie, but you know how crazy that sounds. <laughs> That's why you can't tell anyone. If people found out, I'd lose everything. Could it be true? Was Susie Glatz, in fact, a secret nerd genius? Was she really leading a double life? There's only one way to find out. Susan Quincy Glatz, I'm gonna have to ask you a few questions. The interrogation of Susie Glatz. What's good, real cyanide? My Tuesday's gone well. Hi. Holding torch. P. 
pink bows, fluffy bears, stylish clothes. She can't possibly be a scientist. Do you really expect me to believe that you aren't obsessed with boy bands in the color pink? Brain or bimbo? Which one is it? <laughs> Brain or bimbo? I am a scientist. But I also believe in the importance of good skin care and the power of matching accessories. This <laughs> sound ridiculous. Susie couldn't be pretty, popular, and smart. Says who? She's just greedy. <laughs> Sounds like a man. Any, uh... Stickers anywhere for me? All this stuff thing. looks authentic, but that doesn't mean it belongs to Susie. If this is really your lab, what does that thing do? That's Tim. He's a thermal imaging machine. He uses reflected thermographic projections to infer depth-related topography and subsurface bodies. Come again? That's... He lets you see inside stuff. Pretty nerdy language. Hmm. Well, what about that thing? That's Judy Kate, a gamma-ray induction polygraph. And that? Hydraulically propelled telemetric manipulator. And this? That's a tea set. <laughs> what? I like to drink tea. How did you get all this stuff up here anyway? And without being seen? You'd be surprised how much you can hide in a giant stuffed teddy bear. <laughs> I know what's going on here. You've stolen all this stuff. And you're planning to sell it all to buy more fluffy cushions or pink horses or something. Why? I didn't steal anything. Some of the parts are from my father's factory. The rest I bought with my allowance. That's some allowance. That's some if allowance, is all right. It, why are you worried about people finding out? I'm head cheerleader. I'm captain of the equestrian team. If the other girls knew about this, they'd laugh me all the way to the back of the cafeteria. Why do you care what they think? It's not Seriously. just them. If my parents found out about my lab, they'd kill me. Why? Don't they want you to be a scientist? I think they'd like me to marry a scientist. Dad says science is a man's job. Girls are supposed to pick pies and become prom queen. Ugh, everyone in Arthurton is stuck in the past. Agreed. If anyone else showed him the things I've created, he'd call them a genius and make them his lead scientist. Break so that glass him. ceiling. Prove him wrong. I... I just can't. You have to keep my secret. I'm begging you, Jenny. Dads are scary. Poor Susie. All of her secrets laid bare. Jenny couldn't help but feel... Disgusted. <laughs> Maybe there was more to Susie than she had first presumed. Like, man, do I really gotta like this girl now? Ugh. A gumbled pin. The Dean was wearing one the day he died. Could Susie have played a part in the Dean's death? All of Jenny's instincts told her it wasn't possible, but she needed to know for sure. Mmm, tactful. You smell nice. What perfume is that? That's creepy. Oh, thanks. It's called Innocent. I remember you were wearing it last Thursday at the lake. I was. What did you do that day, after you left? Peggy and I took Veronica home. She was really upset. And you were there all afternoon? Yes. Why? How close is Veronica's house to the library? I don't understand. Why do you want to know all this? I need to rule you out as a suspect. Suspect? Why would I be a suspect? You're certainly very good at keeping secrets. I didn't do anything. Just ask Peggy or Veronica. I don't know why you're friends with them. They are terrible character witnesses. Yeah, seriously. First Veronica, then Keith, and now me. I never thought I'd say this, but sometimes you can be a real... jerk. Oh, strong language. What were you saying about Keith? Well, you didn't exactly make things easier for him, did you? You don't do you remember, mean? do you? Oh, well, I suppose it wasn't that bad. 
What do you mean? After you interrupted the Reverend's eulogy, and after Keith asked you to stop, you tripped and knocked over the Dean's casket, and I guess they hadn't secured the lid properly? Because Ooh, he no. right out to horrify gasps as you collapsed and fell into his open grave. Yikes! That's why everyone's so worried about you. Yikes! It all came flooding back. She oh. had tried to defend her mom and repair her relationship with Keith. Instead, she had ruined everything. Jenny had lost her best friend. No. You should talk to Keith. I'm sure he'll forgive you. Uh. It's not that simple. He thinks my mom killed his dad. She felt the distance between them grow with every passing minute. How could she face him without answers? I have to find the Dean's real killer. What else? Books? Seeing textbooks strewn about the floor reminded Jenny of something. My journal! I need to get my stuff back. Where are my clothes? Oh, Gerald took them. Who the hell is Gerald? Our butler. Of course you have a butler. He's taken well, them to yeah. be cleaned and pressed. She's rich. They'll be ready in a few days. Well, I need them. Now. I've got a dress that would be perfect for you. No dresses. It's got purple bows, and the sequence will really bring out the color of your eyes. <laughs> Polite or rude? Because I feel like Jenny would be rude about this. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think, Tiz? What do you think, Hobbits? Callie? <laughs> I know it's a city. Ah! Did I get cat hair on my nose? It feels like it. I'm not an anti-dress kind of girl either. I'm literally wearing a dress right now. But it's a bag. It's it's just a bag. Rude. I'd rather be burned to death. <laughs> I'd no rather be burned to death. Ball gown. And where's my other stuff? Don't tell me Gerald's got my journal. It's irreplaceable. We also like need I to get the old fool thing, your diary. thing inside her pocket. It's not a diary. It's my case notes. Right, of course. A girl's gotta have a place to keep her secrets. I put all your stuff in the lockbox under my pillows. You've got a lockbox you under your me? pillow? No wonder my head hurts. Why? Jenny was confident that Susie wasn't involved in the Dean's murder. Why do you have a lockbox under evil. your pillow? Just insufferable. I'll get over yourself. All right, I'm gonna grab my stuff and get out of here. Oh, while you're wandering around, can you find some parts for me? I need a battery and a transistor to finish this device. What? No! I did something for you. It was true. Susie had kept Jenny's journal safe. And the Dean's ring. She'd even revealed her darkest secret to Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> What's a transistor? <laughs> oh, it's an oh, electronic geez. voltage regulator that... Just tell me what it looks like. It's a tiny metal object with an antenna and three legs. If you can't find one in my bedroom, there are some old boxes in the attic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Transistor and battery. Got it. Okay. Go, Jenny! I've got to get Don't out Don't do here. that. New sticker, yay! Wait, was there a lever that I could pull? Can I pull this? Apparently not. of the 
the attic. Bunch of old science fair projects. They had all been submitted by Anonymous, and they'd all won first prize. These awards should be hanging on the walls downstairs. It was sad to see all these marvelous accomplishments hidden away in the attic. Susie wanted she... so badly to please her parents, to live up to their expectations of what a Glatz girl should be. She never even told them she'd entered the science fairs. Dang. A tiny metal object with an antenna and three legs. Looks like a transistor to me. Looks like now, it. Now, where can I find a battery? Probably downstairs, I think. Yeah, kill the pig. I'm sorry, Mr. Pig, but no, I need your not. batteries. I love you! I love you! This will only hurt for a second. Oh, jeez! You're my best friend! Oh. <laughs> Yikes. Thank you, Pig, for donating your body to science. <laughs> That's Susie's stuff taken care of, but I still haven't found my own. She said it was under the pillow in her bed. Okay. Nope, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> pigs, pigs everywhere. Let's That's see. one heck of a Stars, lockbox. Stars, lips, hearts, and beakers. What would a girl like Susie use as a password? Probably the beakers. Yeah, it's one of those multi-turn things. I can't remember how I fixed it before. Was it the bottom and top then? Close. Okay, so when I rotate right, the middle one goes a lot faster. moves on its own. Yeah, I... I...
Yeah, but that's the problem. It's the smallest one than the biggest one. Okay. Oh, there we go. There we of go. Of course it was the beakers. Clever. My stuff! Journal in the Jenny diary. The ring in er, her pocket journal and in the ring. through the pages of her journal. No obvious signs of tampering. At least Susie knows how to mind her own business. I'll give her the battery and transistor, and then I'll find a way out of this place. Pardon. Suddenly very tired. Most likely. Probably got a remote for it or something. Everything's so high tech in here, I would be surprised if it wasn't remote activated. Here you go. Oh, wonderful! Thank you! Now, back to the task at hand making my escape. Don't you want to know what these parts are for? Only if it will help me get out of here. Ah! Careful! That's a stick of dynamite! Dynamite! Why do you have dynamite? Crazy? You could have blown me to bits! I did say be careful! What are you making bombs for? They're not bombs. They're silent explosives. That's silent still explosives? technically a bomb. Think about it. Dynamite that doesn't make a sound. Impossible, you say? Not at all. My first breakthrough came when I discovered the unique properties of... I can use this to blow my way out of here! Um, the explosion might be silent, but I think my mom would notice if part of the house was missing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Well, thanks for the show and tell, but it's time for me to go. And how exactly are you going to leave without being seen? I'm glad you asked, Susan. I'll be making my exit through the window in the attic. Once I found a way to unlock it... Oh, you're out of luck there. My parents are super security conscious. All the windows are locked electromagnetically. Where are the controls? Downstairs, in Dad's study. And I can't get there without being seen. Is there some kind of override? It's impossible to open them from up here, unless there was a total power failure. Well then, I know exactly what to do. Okay, total well, power I'll be here if you need help. Then. Escaping Glatz Manor. What does this machine do? That's Judy Kate. She's a portable lie detector. Portable? It's 18 feet tall and bolted to the floor. Yeah, well, I'm still working on that part. But she can detect a lie with 98% accuracy. That's quite a claim. Let's see. Good evening, small human child. I am Judy Kate, Arbiter of Truth, Detector of Lies. Since this is the first time we have met, I will need to calibrate. To begin, please answer this simple question. What is the meaning of life? 42. What? How am I supposed to answer that? Ha. 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 Just kidding. Oh, sorry. I've been experimenting with her personality chip. She's using humor to build a better rapport with subjects. Still needs some work. To begin, please tell me your name. My name is Jenny LeClue. Welcome, Jenny LeClue. I am ready to detect. Please speak a truth or a lie. 
I'm head cheerleader for the Gumbolt Moonbeams. Go Moonbeams. The heck? I think I broke it. It's okay. Refuse just tripped. She gets very sensitive if you lie to her, especially if it's a big lie. But don't <laughs> worry, she'll reset in a minute. Interesting. What the heck is that? Hey! Excuse me? What did you do? Oh, that's just Maggie. She helps me find things I've dropped on the floor. Why do you have a man's ring? It belonged to, um, uh, it belonged to a friend. I'm taking care of it for him. But that doesn't make any sense. I'm telling you the truth. No, I mean, why would a ring made of gold stick to a magnet? That Unless is suspicious. There's something more to it. Which of these machines did you say could see inside things? Excuse me, Tim. We need your help. Aww, oh, hi. So cute. I didn't see you there. My name is Tim, the thermal imaging machine. Metal, plastic, wood. There's nothing I can't see inside. Except, of course, your innermost thoughts. Look, I don't need a best friend. <laughs> I just need him to examine the ring. Ouch. That hurt my feelings. Stop giving Easy machines on feelings! He's quite sensitive. Ugh. Hi, Tim. Nice to meet you. Oh, how wonderful it is to meet you, my new friend. How can I be of service? I need you to look inside something for me. I'd be delighted to. Please place the object on my soft, velvety platform. Soft, velvety platform? What? Come to me, tiny object of vast mystery and import. Reveal to me your deepest secrets. The eyes widening are getting me. Swim in my warm bath of gamma rays. I'm peering deeply inside you. Ooh, what's that? Deeper still. I've never seen one of those before. That's not weird sounding at all. Fascinating. All the wonders I have seen. Mind sharing well, with the class? Spit it out already. One moment, please, while I paint you a picture of the journey we just shared. I knew there was something special about this ring. It's full of tiny cogs and gears. I've never seen such intricate craftsmanship. That's pretty cool. I need to borrow your microscope. Tiny buttons hidden in plain sight. Clever. I wonder what they do. Okay. There we go. The ring opened okay. up like a flower. Why would the Dean have a ring like this? Whatever its true purpose, one thing was clear. This ring was important. Important enough to kill for? Dean Strausberry, what were you involved in? Did you say Dean Strausberry? Uh-oh. Whose ring is that really? Dean Dakota ring. Susie had entrusted unlocked. her deepest, darkest secret to Jenny. The least Jenny could do was be honest with her. Mm, let's trust her. It's the Dean's ring. Well, it was. 
You stole the Dean's ring? Technically, I found it. Jenny! You've got to turn that into the police! It could be important evidence! Considering the police think my mom is the Dean's murderer, I certainly won't be handing it over to them. But what if they ask me about it? I can't lie to them. I'm a terrible liar. Uh, reassure? It's not lying. It's just leaving out the parts that don't concern them. But I can't go to jail. My parents will disown me, and my reputation will be ruined. No one's going to jail, as long as we protect each other. I'll keep your secret. You keep mine. Like... friends. I'm not sure I'd go that far. Sure. Now go back to whatever mad science experiment you were doing. <laughs> I've got a window to open. I think we'll actually call it quits. For now. Um, save just now. But before we leave... Oh, wow. <laughs> the heck is this? <laughs> oh, jeez. No, that's cute. Ugh. Is this supposed to be the monkey's paw or something? Oh, this is concept art. <laughs> Jenny Holmes. Oh, that's cute. Okay. This is so cute. <laughs> I love nerds. That's the author. Okay, we'll look at the rest of that later. Uh, no. I think we're good on the save slot because it automatically saved. Uh, decorate. Uh. Uh, decorate. Ali, you're being ADHD. Please focus. I want to add one sticker, dog on it. Okay, maybe another. Mm. All right, timer has gone off, so I'm officially quitting now. All right. Everyone's bullying me for being ADHD today. Yeesh. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I enjoyed it myself. Uh, we will be returning to this on next Tuesday again. Um, let's see, Thursday is going to be, um, the Sexy Brutal again, and I don't know what, uh, Saturday holds for us, but, um, I don't know, maybe I'll make a poll and see who wants to revisit which game. 
we'll go for there. Shagrim, have you eaten? Please tell me you've eaten. Meow! I'm hearing cries of an unfed cat. She is less starving to death. She is not actually starving to death. You have eaten. Good. Has everyone else eaten? Has everyone taken care of themselves? I really hope they have, otherwise I'm gonna have to bop you. Okay, good. Um, alright. I can't think of anything else off the top of my head. Um, I will make sure to take a catalog of all of the uh, different events that happened today. For an example, the resubs and the hosts and the raids and all that, and make sure to add that to our uh, Twitch hat, and I will post the update on that probably tomorrow morning. Um, hope you enjoyed the stream. I enjoyed playing for you. Um, and when you get to it, my lovelies, sleep well and stick around after the credits to join the raid to the next streamer. Farewell, my friends.